Hi, um, today I am going to be working and doing a demonstration of the facial phratic treatment, which is also called EMS, electrical muscle stimulation. The main use of it is to tighten and stimulate muscle fibers to contract so that they tone and they firm. Um, so this treatment is um, going to be using today then, we're going to be using the Silhouette Fradic machine. And just to go through the dials of the machine, you have an on-off switch at the back. Then on the front, you have one output lead. Um, the output lead has rubber connectors, but it has a positive and a negative tube or lead going into both. The positive is traditionally um, the red lead and the negative then would be the black lead. You also then have the, mo mon the mode phasic dial and monophasic stands for one and then biphasic stands for impulses going both directions. So if we have it on biphasic, it means that the impulses are going to be equal to the positive and negative electrode. We also have the indent intensity dial, which controls then the amount of current then and that is going to our actual electrode. So that's our machine. Then to get started, you once you've done your consultation card, um, you would make sure that there's no contraindications to treatment. And then we are um, going to test our machine on ourselves first. OK, so to test the machine on myself first, we are going to use either a saline solution, which is a salt water solution, or else we're going to use a phratic conductive gel, which helps to um, improve the flow of current to the electrode. So what we're going to do first is we're going to apply a bit of gel onto the electrode. And you always test it on the therapist's arm first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it on the thinner muscle, which is the big muscle here of the thumb. And I am going to close it then and hold it. And I'm just going to hold up the machine just for this one so you can see exactly what we're doing. So what I'm going to do is make sure my intensity is down to zero and I'm going to turn the machine on at the back and you will see then that you will get a flashing pulse light. So when this pulse light is flashing red, it means then that there is current going to my electrode once I've turned up my intensity. So the main rule with Fradic or EMS is that you only ever turn up the intensity when this red light is flashing. You only ever turn down the intensity when this light is off. OK, so what I'm going to do, I have it on biphasic mode. So very slowly, when the light is on, I am going to turn up my intensity. So all I'm really going to get is a slight tingling in my fingers. Um, I won't see a visible contraction. So once I feel a slight tingling, I know that the machine is actually working. So I don't feel anything just yet. OK, so now I feel like a slight tingling um, sensation. So I'm going to turn it down only when the light is off. So it's the opposite. OK, so I'm turning it down one quick sweep and then make sure you power off the intensity before you take it away from your client. So I'm just going to sanitize this electrode here quickly. And I am just going to apply a little bit more gel to my electrode. So with Fradic, what do we do is we apply it to the motor point of the muscles. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to apply it to the zygomaticus. So I'm going to turn the head this way. Your zygomaticus is lies, it's a muscle which lies over your zygomatic bone. So that is your cheekbone. So it's just going to be a little bit cold, but you won't feel anything. So I'm just going to pop it here like this. Make sure you press it in nice and firm. I am making sure my intensity is zero, turning my machine on at the back. You will see your pulse light will flash. So only when this pulse light is on, do I turn up my intensity. So what you need to do is be talking to your client the whole time. And um, as soon as you feel a very slight tingling sensation in the muscle, um, just let me know straight away. OK. Now, your zygomaticus muscle is involved in smiling. So what should happen is we should see some movement here. And then what we should hopefully see is this muscle or the side of the mouth pulling out towards the electrode. So just let me know as soon as you feel any slight warmth, a little bit of warmth there. So we're going to feel it deeper now into the muscle. So you might feel the muscles start to move underneath the electrode or else here. OK, so only when the light is on. 
so during the stimulation or contraction period okay so we're getting movement of the lip which is good and we're getting a little bit here can you take it any higher or is that okay for the first time you can go higher. okay so we can go a little bit higher so just nice and easy okay <laughs> So we're getting plenty of movement there, which is great. So what you want ideally is eight visible contractions, okay? So once you've got eight visible contractions, we can turn it down when the light is off and make sure we power off, okay? So what you can do is do the other side or else I would just show you um, another motor point. So a motor point is where the motor nerves enter into the muscle. So this time what I'm going to do is the abicularis or oculi, which is the muscle which surrounds the eye. Okay, so I'm going to do this side. The best way to find your motor point is where the eyebrow would normally end. So you're going to put the one pad up at the top and then one pad at the bottom because the abicularis oris muscle is a splinter. It's a circular muscle. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. Make sure intensity is down. We are going to turn on our machine and when the red light is on we are going to turn up the intensity so nice and slowly and always talking to our client so with this one you should see the eyelid starting to quiver and that'll probably be the first sensation so as soon as you feel heat or any little bit of movement at all just let me know you feel anything Abby no okay so we're just going to take it up a little bit more you feel anything there no okay <laughs> do you feel anything mm -hmm. just close your eye for me oh i can see it there in the top more so does that feel okay can you take it any more or is that as high mm -hmm. as you can take it mm -hmm. we'll just go a tiny little bit and see can everyone see it on camera Oh yeah, it's quite obvious up at the top. So um, I'm just going to bring my camera a little bit closer just to show you that. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Okay, so you can see it. if you open your eye then a little bit, Abby, just. Okay, so she's probably had well over eight contractions. So what I'm going to do is turn it down when the light is off and power off at the back before I remove the electrode. So what you can do is you can wipe the gel off the area. Okay. Okay. So what I'm just <laughs> going to show you then is I'm just going to show you some motor points. Okay. So, okay. So what you can do is you can also do the seven facial nerve is if you turn this way to the camera for me, the seven facial nerve, what you would have here is you'd go from the tragus um, here at the top and place the electrode here and what you would get with the seven facial nerve is you should get movement from the eye the nose and the mouth so everything should be pulling out this way towards the electrode so this is really good for general toning of the whole face okay you could also do if your client doesn't have a lot of fillings or braces you could do the abicularis oris and you can do that on both sides of the face another really good one to do would be the sternocleidomastoid so if you turn that way for me this is this big long muscle along here and what you do is when you place the electrode on this the action of this muscle is to flex the head laterally so what would happen here in abby's case is the head would actually move like that okay and <laughs> that's the sternocleidomastoid okay so it's a maximum of eight contractions per muscle and um, so you don't get fatigue in the in the muscle